we've been looking at kindness this week and why it's so important to be kind in your business. What with all the negativity going on in the world at the minute, we just need that extra bit of kindness. And if you are kind in your business, it shows that you are a human being. You're human, and, and I was human. I am human. And others are more likely to come to you because you are giving happiness and helping to support others with your business. Bill Gates is one of the most famous people in the world. Uh, I'll cheat a little bit. And one of the richest people in the world. He's also really well known for giving so much money to charity. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was set up out of the kindness of their own hearts and they have donated about 27 billion dollars to help improve healthcare and to reduce extreme poverty. This is so generous of these billionaires and they've donated over 30 billion dollars worth to this foundation and imagine how many people that's helped to help reduce the extreme poverty and to improve healthcare. Now we're not saying you need to raise billions and billions and billions of dollars to give away. It could be an internal fundraiser that you do as a team or a percentage of your profits can go to a local charity. Every little bit helps for these charities, especially if you pick a local charity, then your customers are going to see that you care about the local community and you can even then visit that charity and see how your money is helping them. We all love helping people and we all love being kind, so if your products, profits are going to help those in need, then people are more likely to buy from you because they then will also be supporting that charity. I'm going to talk about innocent drinks. They create really nice healthy drinks. I'm sure you've all picked up an innocent drink in the meal deal when you go to the supermarket and they donate a lot of their profits to charity. And especially they do the big knits, you know, you see them with their all little woolen hats. People knit the hats and donate them to Innocent and then every drink that has a hat on it, 25p of it will be donated to Age UK which helps combat loneliness. So that's a really nice example of quite a large scale charity fundraiser for quite a well known product. Another really good thing you can do for kindness is to give away free things. Not long ago before Christmas, I actually got a free pair of socks from Innocent. It was on Twitter and it just popped up saying, if anyone would like a little extra Christmas treat from us, sign up below on a first come first serve basis. I did it on a whim, I wasn't expecting to be one of the first people to sign up, completely forgot about it. And then the week before Christmas I got a little parcel through the door and opened up and it was a free pair of socks from Innocent. And uh, they had the hashtag tweet your feet and it was really nice to see the thread of all the other people who got the free socks. Now everybody loves socks, I mean who doesn't like socks? But free socks are even better and especially when they've got a nice positive message on it. I think mine reads, if you were a bus we would run for you. It's quite sweet isn't it? Now we're not saying you have to give everyone a pair of socks but freebies are good. Everybody loves a freebie. If you're going to go down the freebie route it doesn't have to be a physical freebie. It could be a free ebook, it can be free content on the website. Look into all the other things, all the other freebies that people are giving away. Are, are your competitors giving freebies? See what they're doing, make it a little bit different so yours stands out. Who gives a crap? That's the name of an actual business. These guys sell 100% recycled toilet paper, so it's really good for the environment. But 50% of the profits go to help build toilets because the, the guys who founded it, they read an article that said that 2.3 billion people don't have access to a toilet worldwide. And this shocked them and they wanted to do something to help. So they started their business and it started through Indiegogo, which was where people pledge money so they could start their orders and they've helped so many people now with the building of their toilets and all the money that's raised through everyone else buying their toilet paper. And it's recycled, so it's good for the environment. They don't use any inks or dyes, so it's good for your skin. And the kindness from their charity, from their business, from them starting their business has helped so many people access the basic human rights of having a clean toilet. So be kind in your business. It's really not that hard. And even the smallest thing that you can do can make a huge difference to someone. Thank you for watching. I've been Becca from Passport to Success, the online platform built by industry experts to help advise, guide, support entrepreneurs and small businesses to success. See you in the next video.